Ladies, what are your favorite topics of conversation to have with your partner? I like to start with tell me something I don't know. My grandparents used to do that, and I thought it was a cute way to check in with your person. Last night that conversation became about how we reacted to getting baby siblings. Apparently we both hated them lol. Stealing this. Animal facts. He knows him. More invested and educated in exotic animals than is necessarily normal. Sometimes, probably entirely for my benefit, my partner will just start asking me random animal or dinosaur questions and let me fly off into long winded explanations and tangents. I get really passionate, and he has the grace, to at least pretend to be interested, even if he actually isn't. He is probably not even pretending. It is always fun to see someone you care about talk about something he slash she is passionate about. My ex once went on for an hour about procedures in court. I could maybe understand one word in five, but I was mesmerized by her energy while talking. It's possible. We were friends for a year, before we started dating. And even then he'd spend hours just asking me questions, because he liked the way my head worked. I never got it, but it was nice to have someone who actually wanted to hear what I thought about things. He sounds like a keeper. Definitely is. American vs French culture and politics is a big one. Coming from different backgrounds we always have a lot to learn from each other. Whatever show we've been watching and all our thoughts about it is also always good haha. <laughs> We love debating theories and intricacies of good shows. We are Indian vs Norwegian, and I can definitely relate. Comparing upbringings and opinions always get interesting. We love talking about potential trips we could take, and old Taskmaster episodes. You'll sound like us, except we are still watching TM episodes on YouTube. Little Alex Horn. We are you in a month. When the episodes run out haha. How are you watching new ones? If you don't mind me asking, do you have Brit Barks, or are in the UK? We are actually a season or two behind still. We've seen all the YouTube ones but that's it. You can buy the new seasons on YouTube though. We haven't, yet but we plan to- He's a super critical and creative thinker. So I love posing him a problem from my profession, and seeing what he comes up with. We bounce ideas very well from each other. Also, motorbikes. I'm a beginner rider. He's been riding for years. Deep and serious conversations. The kinds that you know neither of you would share with anybody else trauma. Humiliating memories. Deep regrets. Etc. But also. Sweet playful discussions that result in inside jokes. A previous partner and I would partake in conversations. That we tagged as drunken physics. He had a degree in astrophysics. We would drink whiskey and he would explain some aspect of physics. It was extremely interesting. Often funny as hell. And the really excellent pictures, many of which I still have, he would draw, while semi drunk were impressive. I backslash backslash highly recommend you pick up a copy of what, if by Randall Munro, XKCD comic artist. His book would be totally up your alley. Yes I love that book. I also love this book. I borrowed it off my science teacher. At the moment, our wedding. We are both very excited, and a tad impatient. Congrats. Conversations about our future are amazing. I love knowing, that she considers me a part of her future. My first thought as well. I love dreaming and planning and playing with hypotheticals. What if our future child wants to pick up religion slash smokes weed, while still in high school slash is gay or trans slash wants to join the military what, if we built a house in Montana slash what, if we move to Switzerland slash what, if we buy a camper and live via national forest land. It's fun. The not so fun side, but just as interesting, are things like what happens if you're in a terrible accident and I need to decide to pull the plug slash if I outlive you how. Would you like your remains to be handled? Punt reigns. And improvising a narrative, based on a random thing one of us said. For example, Tim, isn't that just general knowledge? Me, general knowledge. I heard he was a bit of a smartest. Tim, yeah. No idea how he got promoted. Me, well it was between him and major catastrophe. So, Tim, I guess major catastrophe's rep took a hit after his affair with private sector got out. And so on. They are never particularly clever or anything. 
but we have fun seeing how long we can keep it going. Media. We love talking about symbolism and deeper meanings and subtext. We debate character morality and how we would change plots or character swaps. Books, movies, TV, video games, music. It's all up for debate and we love chatting about it. Huge subjects like whether there's life on other planets and our thoughts slash stories about spiritualism. We get into long discussions about faith and religion and politics and life elsewhere in the universe. It's so freaking great to be able to have a real discussion with someone who might have a different take or view on something, but who actually listens to your side of things and doesn't get defensive or upset. Talking about a podcast we just watched together, I also love when Hez talking with our cat, giving him compliments. Our cat loves being carried around to the different windows of our house, and sometime we do it together, just goofing around and talking about how spoiled he is, and how it's good, that nobody can see us carrying him from window to window. Gossip. Leftist revolution. My partner is my favorite person to gossip with. Right. I love racing to my partner. Giddy with news. One of the first conversations my boyfriend and I had, was about the hat he was wearing. A Red Bull Racing Formula 1 hat. Sunday morning watching the race are one of my favorite parts of the week. We both love Formula 1, and we can both sit and chat about it for hours. I work away from home, so I missed Spa last weekend. But we spent half an hour on the phone that night chatting about the race. There's so many random things I love to talk about with my boyfriend. But Formula 1 is definitely up there. It's one of the reasons we clicked the night we met. My boyfriend and I got into Formula 1 together, so I love this. Conversations about how we feel. Really opening up on our future. Science based conversations. Anything about physics or technology or mathematics. We could end up deep in a conversation about exoplanets or the singularity. Or emerging diseases. Something like that. Politics and current affairs. This is probably more his forte. But I'm very interested, and I can hold my own for sure. Fiction. Particularly fantasy and science fiction books. But also movies and film. And we can go on long tangents discussing deeper meanings and the like. History. Archaeology and linguistics slash etymology and the intersection between them. We can keep up a conversation on Proto-Indo-European or the origins of agriculture. Or the history of al -Andalus. It doesn't matter who it is. I really love watching people talk about things they are passionate about. I enjoy how excited and animated they can get. And I get to learn something in the process. It's good vibes all the way. Our cats. Our future. The games we play together. Like the supernatural. Save the romance stuff for someone else. Art mostly. We are both pretty creative and consume a lot of art in all forms. So we spend a lot of time discussing the process of making art, the influence of art, how to improve current projects. We had actually planned on going to a museum yesterday, but got wrapped up in a conversation about the validity of pretension in different art forms. To be honest I don't talk a lot with my boyfriend, but when we do we just talk about our days or something special that happened, or communicate what's been on our minds lately. But I also like just laying on his chest and enjoy each other's company. We are pretty comfortable with not talking lots, and there's no much need to fill the silence for us. Colon close bracket. Stories from our past we've never shared. Just sweet tidbits of info that have never fallen into core stories. I love when he shares little things I didn't know before. It just feels so sweet and a little like dating again. We also love talking about where our next adventure will be, or what new project we'd like to start on the house. We've also taken up listening to audiobooks and discussing them. Last night we finished the Note 36 questions that lead to love. HTTPS slash slash www nighttimes com slash 2015 slash 01 slash 09 slash style slash no 37 big wedding or small. HTML, SMID equals NYTCORE dash IOS dash SHARE and REFER, RINGSOURC equals ARTICLESHARE. We're already in love. 
but it fell deeper after the last handful of questions. It makes you get a bit vulnerable. I've noticed we've also been peppering each other with lovely compliments, and being more emotionally vulnerable with each other. It's still a newish relationship, 6 months. But I fall more in love with that man every single day. This is so cute. I hope things go great for you guys me and my partner also did the questions a few months into the relationship and I noticed a change in how comfortable and safe I felt being vulnerable with him. I feel like it's all things you want to learn and share that otherwise you wouldn't know how or when to ask. Child raising topics from clothes. Recreational activities to imagining scenarios. It's adorable but we probably starting to seem unhinged because we joke and reenact with our Grogu plush. It just gets cute and funny. And those topics are fun because it's a little reminder of roles being switched up and that him the chaotic one with dad jokes while he's the responsible one. Future. Money. Vacations. Plans. Fun stuff. My partner and I both game. So it's entertaining to talk about the games we play, or our shared saved games and such. Any piece of trivia. Doesn't even have to be a long conversation. Just did you know. Cool. Right? Navy ships now that the old ones are being refitted. We had a great conversation last night about the US Texas, and which ship might be next to get a refit. Even more fun, after we added our middle kid in by text. We each have our favorites. Me from being a navy brat and both of us from some of our favorite military CF. Rather disappointed that the Daisy me, us these points, and Salem have been scrapped as John Ringo wrote a trilogy with their amphora motions. Probably didn't spell that right, 